My name is Ana Gaña. I am the technical support manager at New England Biolabs. I'm also the product manager for the nucleic acid purification Monarch product line. Today in this short video, we're gonna show you the basic steps that you need to follow to do a plasmid purification using our Monarch Plasmid mini prep kit. You will need to add four volumes of ethanol to one volume of Plasmid Wash Buffer 2 according to the instructions on the bottle's label. Now to the first step, the pelleting. You will need to pellet between 1 and 5 mL of bacterial cell culture by centrifuging at 16,000 G or about 13,000 RPMs for 30 seconds. After that, make sure that you carefully discard the supernatant. The next step will be the resuspension step. Resuspend the bacterial pellet in 200 microliters of the plasmid resuspension buffer B1. You can vortex the tube or pipette up and down to ensure that the cells are completely resuspended. It is important to resuspend the cells completely in order to achieve complete lysis in the following step. To lyse the cells, you will add 200 microliters of plasmid lysis buffer B2 to the cell suspension. Immediately and gently invert the tube five to six times until the color changes to a dark pink and the solution is viscous. Please do not vortex the solution since this can shear the DNA. Now you will need to incubate for one minute at room temperature to ensure complete lysis. Move quickly to the next step to avoid denaturing the plasmid. To neutralize the lysate, add 400 microliters of the plasmid neutralization buffer B3. Again, gently invert the tube five to six times until the color is uniformly yellow and you see a precipitate form. It is very important that you mix the solution until the color is uniformly yellow. Please do not vortex the solution. Now you will need to incubate for two minutes at room temperature, and then you will centrifuge for two to five minutes. Now to the binding step. You will carefully transfer the supernatant, which contains the plasmid DNA to a spin column, and you will centrifuge for one minute. The DNA is now bound to the column's matrix. You will remove the column, and you will discard the flow through. Now the washing begins. Reinsert the column into the collection tube and add 200 microliters of the plasmid wash buffer one. Centrifuge for one minute. You may discard the flow through at this point, but this step is optional. Now add 400 microliters of the plasmid wash buffer two and centrifuge for one minute. You will transfer the column to a clean micron centrifuge tube, making sure that the tip of the column does not come into contact with the flow through. Now for the elution step. You will add a minimum of 30 microliters of DNA elution buffer to the center of the column matrix. Incubate the solution for one minute at room temperature. This incubation step is very important to guarantee maximum yields. Centrifuge for one minute and collect the flow through. The flow through now contains your purified plasmid DNA. If you need additional information on the protocol, you can check the manual in the product webpage. If you have any difficulties, you can always contact NEB technical support.